Hey, today on Time Off Outdoors, we're gonna check out this Gerber Highbrow. Let's get to it. All right, so today we're checking out, I'm gonna do a quick review on this. Now this, right here, very cool, stylish knife. This is the Gerber Highbrow. Now, a few quick things about it. The scales here are made of anodized aluminum. You can see they have a little wear on them. Uh, I would not recommend washing this in the washing machine. That's where that came from. So you have these anodized aluminum grips on both sides. Okay. Now, this knife blade, it's a drop point. There's no serrations, which is good. I like just a plain edge. And this is made out of, hold on. This is made out of 7CR stainless steel. Now, I love knives. I like different designs of knives, but I don't exactly know everything about which metal is the best. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of you on here and watching this that know what you're talking about when it comes to knife steel, but I just picked this one up because I like the look of it and I lost most of my knife collection, so I'm trying to build it back up. This is kind of a budget knife that you can find at most retail stores. Okay, so let's go over some features of this Gerber Highbrow. Now, first one we're going to go over is the fact that it is assisted open, which means that there's a little mechanism inside the knife itself. And when you press on this part of the blade, it comes out like so. So it assists it in coming open. Next, we're going to go over this little locking mechanism mechanism here they call it the pivoting lock and as you can see on one side it has a little gerber symbol right here if we flip it over it has a screw so if you ever needed to take this apart for some reason and maybe try to fix it uh, it's possible you could do so now to go along with the locking the pivot lock there's a slide lock now if you look right here if i can get it to focus there's a little red spot on this piece of metal. This is the sliding lock. So what this thing does is when it's up and you can see the red it allows the knife to open like so. But if we take our finger and we push that down and engage it you can see there's no more red dot and the front end of the little piece of metal has gone in. It's not going to open anymore. I don't know if you can hear it but it kind of rattles because it's trying to open but it can't open at all. So this is engaged to unengage it. You simply push your finger down and pull it back like so. It's very to lock and very easy to lock and unlock like that. So it's just another safety feature it has. Here we have a little lanyard hole. Uh, we have this pocket clip which features the word Gerber and two screws that hold it. And a nice thing about this knife uh, that bugs me about other ones is the fact that you can put it on either side. So if you're right or left handed, it's going to work very well for you. Okay, so the tip and the edge, it has a plain edge with a drop tip point. I really like it. Um, it has this little rubber spacer that has, you can see, some little nodules on there. But if you look, the spacer is actually below the scales here, as you can see. So really it serves no purpose other than it looks really cool. It doesn't really provide any more uh, grip. Uh, and another thing, this knife, another feature it mentions is the fact that it can be operated with one hand. So it can be open with one hand and using the sliding lock can be shot with one hand. So it's very easy operation for one hand to do. The closing can be a little tricky, but if you practice it and you uh, keep your fingers out of the way of its teeth, um, it'll work very well. Now, I want to talk about some of the things I do like about the knife and some I don't. Uh, I like the design, first off. It really drew my eye to it. It looks like a higher-end knife, but it's not. It was uh, at Walmart. I've seen it at Bass Pro. I've seen it at Academy. So this thing's all over the place. I want to say it was like $40 or something like that. So it's affordable. It's not going to break the bank. Um, another thing I like about it is the fact that it is so smooth and the fact that you can use it with one hand. Uh, it's very nice. It's fun to just sit here and do that over and over again. It's like a very dangerous uh, fidget spinner. And um, 
I also like the fact that you can change the pocket clip. I always carry it in my right pocket because I'm right-handed, but I hate when a knife doesn't offer that feature because I know there is other people out there that are left-handed, so I like that. Now, I'm going to talk about the things I don't like, and that is, first off, you may have noticed this when I was showing you the features, this right here. I got this knife, and this is a very easy fix, and I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. It's very easy. Um, but this works loose. So it just has these two little screws, and I carried it in my pocket for about a month and a half, and it started wiggling, and it's just like, it's very loose now. If you shake it, it just wiggles all over the place. Um, but all you have to do is tighten these screws, and I'll add that towards the end of this video. Another thing I don't like about it is this, and I actually just did it. This little sliding lock here is so sensitive and can go off at any time. So a lot of times when you put this in your pocket and you're walking around, this will wiggle loose and engage. So when you want to pull out your knife and use it, it's just annoying because it locks it without you even having known it. So let's say you want to pull this out and use it on something really fast. It's more than likely going to lock while it's in your pocket. I don't know if there's a way you could change that. Maybe there's a video about it, but it's just very sensitive. It takes like no pressure at all to set this thing off. So that's that's probably the thing I hate the most about it, which it's not a deal breaker. It's kind of annoying, but you're usually not going to be in a life or death situation and especially not want to have to pull this knife out. I mean, this isn't a survival knife or anything like that. This is just a good everyday carry. You need to open a letter or a box or cut a small piece of rope, something like that. So uh, it's not a complete deal breaker, but it is a very annoying thing that happens. And the other thing that I want to complain about, which I guess I really shouldn't complain because this isn't an ultra high quality or ultra expensive knife, but the, the <laughs> sorry, the dogs, uh, making a mess in the garage. Uh, the other thing I want to complain about is the edge itself. I've uh, sharpened this up a little bit, but both of the Gerber knives I've bought um, have both had horrible edges on them. They weren't even sharp, and you could see little nicks in it, so at the factory they're not doing a very good job of putting a nice edge on it. Um, this Steel seems to hold up pretty good. I'm not doing anything crazy with it. Like I said, I'm not using it to cut down a tree or anything like that for a bushcraft or something. But uh, the edge seems to be holding up. I just hit it with, we have like a little kitchen sharpener and I use that on it. I could get it even better with like a wet stone or something like that, but I just haven't done it yet. But really those things are only the cons, the only cons that I have for it. Other than that, I really like this knife. Uh, now I'm going to show you real quick just how you can tighten these screws. It's very simple. All right, so all you're going to need to fix this is a screwdriver. Uh, you can pick up one I saw at Walmart that's like an electronic kit, but I happen to have one in this uh, watch repair kit that I have. It's just a T-head. Of course, it's not going to focus on that. You know what a T-head looks like if you're in the knife world. Uh, it's very simple. Here, let me try that. Looks kind of like a star, but um, we're just going to take this. You can see there's a line right here where it's rubbed. We're just going to put it in the middle of that line, and all you got to do is just simply tighten it like this. Tighten both sides really nice. Make sure you use the right size tip for this, or you're gonna, you could possibly strip out the head of this. Snug them up really good. And there you go. No more wiggling. Now, another thing you could do to take this a step further is unscrew it completely and put a tiny little dab of Loctite on each of them. I may do that later if this ends up un uh, wiggling loose again. But I'm wondering if maybe just at the factory they didn't get it as tight as they could. All right, and that sums it up for the Gerber Highbrow. Gerber has came up with a lot of cool knives lately. They've stepped it up from the usual stuff. The quality can be kind of iffy, but 
then again, I think Gerber's always had that reputation uh, not being the highest quality ever. But I like the knives I've bought, and I will do a review of the other one coming up. But I'll, like I said earlier, I'll leave a link for this one below. I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this video, and I hope you're staying safe out there. And I hope you have a good day or night whenever you're watching this. And I hope you enjoy uh, your time off outdoors. Till next time, guys. Stay safe. And stay outside.